anything yet. That's a start. Recognized. Please select a destination. If you have a question, one moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? They're a problem? I thought we were fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. Shepard. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. That could have ended very badly. Very badly. Glad we're both still standing. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power-hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he showed up again on Omega, even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I don't care who he is. Next time we meet, he dies. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? 
Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the Catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. Cerberus, Reapers, they'll all pay for this war. One way or another. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on.
Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, i found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Unless they're indoctrinated, and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the Crucible. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully, but it could be worth investigating. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Commander?
So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. Go easy on Ash. She's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Commander. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. You said that asking you abstract social questions may lead to unreliable answers, so I stayed silent. I didn't realize this would be an ongoing issue. Let's air it out. I was considering this. For all their supposed intelligence, the Reapers are more easily destroyed than they think. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? Synthetics are created with a goal in mind. Just ask their creators what it was. But my creation was planned by Cerberus. I no longer serve their purposes. Cerberus was originally created to give humanity a fighting chance. Right now, that might be a goal you can get behind. It would take significant resources and processing power. Do you think I would find it worthwhile? Well, you could do it as a favor to me. I'd make a pretty crappy husk. How would this differ from our present course? The difference is you decide it's worth it. No one tells you it is. I see. I will examine this issue. Shepard, I have examined the issue. The Reapers threaten the crew of this ship and other organics who are helping me develop perspectives on existence. Were I to approach Reapers to request similar perspectives, it is likely I would be destroyed. I would rather risk non-functionality with the crew of the Normandy, than risk it alone. Glad to hear it, Edie. Good to have you on board. Are you and Ashley okay? The last time she saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. I have informed her of the situation. She is taking it well. Good. Hello, Shepard. Commander. Commander, Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Commander. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? If they hadn't backed down? Yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. Still, I'm glad Ash didn't have to join Caden. Losing one was enough.
Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends, and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Caden. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Good to see you. Good to see you. Speak with you, Commander. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel.
The John Gr Jellix, the second planet in the Arai system, is a marginally habitable world of mountains and ice. The planet was turned into a human penal colony upon its discovery in 2161. But its prison shut in 2179 after racking up the worst safety records in the system's alliance. Lawsuits are still in the courts. Shortly after the closure of the prisons, a handful of intergalactic corporations moved in to set up mines, supply depots, and other facilities on the planet. An unremarkable world located far from regularly traveled trade routes, Lessus is inhabited only by a small Asari colony. The main feature is a monastery that houses a large population of Asari with active or latent Ardat Yakshi genes, a disorder that causes the death of anyone who mates with the afflicted Asari. Although some of the colonists exiled themselves voluntarily, many were sent to Lessus by their families to protect society from their deadly potential. The monastery emphasizes individual sacrifice for the good of the community. Latent Ardat Yakshi, as well as active sufferers who show that they can control their condition, may be offered a chance to reintegrate into Asari society after spending sufficient time on Lessus. Active Ardat Yakshi, whose psychological profiles show capacity for neither empathy nor re-education, are confined to the monastery for life. reports on the council doctor their security is in disarray but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff and it's far too risky after Odina's coup postpone those deployments at once hello again
at your service. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. Cerberus repelled by CSEC. Alliance Marines explain the Council Fleet's delayed response. We speak with the brave men and women who fought the good fight in the battle space. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, her death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. I would like to visit the Citadel sometime when it is not infested with traitors. I have heard about the Kailang human you encountered. It is good to have a name for the enemy. I would enjoy killing most. Yes? doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? Reviewing our maintenance schedules one more time. Everything is in order. Hey, Commander. I knew Udina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, oh, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Hey. 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 